1.12 defining translations. Our success criteria today are I can describe a translation by stating the directed line segment and I can draw translations. Pause this video and take a look at this diagram to the right and write down some things that you notice and some things that you wonder. Some things that you might notice is that there's two triangles. You might notice that there are letters for some points. There's letters on this one, C, D, E, and not letters on this triangle. And you also might notice that there's an arrow with this letter V. Some things that you might have wondered might have been, how does the arrow relate to these triangles? Or are the two triangles congruent or the same size? And something that you should recognize is that if you draw the segment between one of what's called the corresponding vertices, let's say that we wanted to say that this endpoint C is transforming over here to C prime in this direction, it does seem, and just using our eyeballs and intuition, it does seem like this V length is the same as this V segment. Moving forward, we're going to point out that this is going to be something called a directed line segment. And it does matter the direction of the arrow. It matters what direction the transformation is moving. So now we're going to take a look at this second section here. What's the point? Translations. What you're going to do is you're going to use a ruler to draw the translation from V to W. So pause the video or follow along with me and draw the translation from V to W. And specifically, we started at V and ended at W. So we put an arrow on this end to show that we went in this direction from V going up towards W. Now it says find and name at least three other pairs with the same translation. You can use your ruler if you want to get precise and you can see that it's almost two centimeters or if you switch it around, it's a little less than one inch. You can use a ruler to check that out, but pause the video and find three other translations that are the same as V to W. So a few other that I found, I found Z to Y is another translation that goes in the same direction. Another one that I found down here is U to R. And then another one that I found over here to the right is J to E. And there's many more. There's a lot more, I think even you know, Q to L, O to K. Um, you can you can see several others across the across the diagram. So find as many as you can. Now it says is P to T the same translation as T to P? So let's find that one. So T to P. I'm going to use a different color because we're highlighting this. T to P goes in this direction. It goes up from bottom to top. But then going from T, I'm sorry, P to T would have gone this direction, but I could, so I guess I could have drawn arrows on both sides. But is it the same translation? The answer is no. They're not the same translation because the arrow is going a different direction. And it matters in translations which direction the arrow is facing. 
So it matters what direction the points are sliding. So then what do you notice about all the lines that you've drawn? So just kind of looking across, well, yes, they're all the same length. And in this case, all the purple ones that I drew are all going the same direction. But one other thing that you might notice or you should notice and something that's important about directed line segments is that they are all parallel to each other. And we've seen this parallel denotion before where these arrows on top of the segments show that they are all parallel. So to be the same translation, they all have to be parallel. The directed line segments are all parallel to each other. And now we're going to define these elements down here. So we want to define what is officially, what is a directed line segment? It's a line segment with a direction to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. A line segment with a direction, meaning it's got an arrow of which direction it's going. A line segment just means that it's uh, not a continuing line. It's just a chunk of a line. But you can think about it as just a, a basic line. And then a translation. The official definition of a translation is taking all points of a figure the same length in the same direction. So everything's moving in the same directed line segment and they're going the same length or distance. So here could be a directed line segment T, and we can see that A to A prime was moving A to A prime by directed line segment T. What went wrong with translation? So Priya tried to translate triangle ABC by the directed line segment from D to E right here, 3.5. She knows something went wrong because the image, this guy, B prime, C prime, A prime, isn't congruent to the original figure. What is one idea that Priya probably understands about translations? Pause the video and write down your thoughts. Something that Priya probably understands is that translations take points to a new point the same distance. So she knows that it's sliding and knows that they need to go the same distance because I can see a 3.5, 3.5, and 3.5. What's something that she probably doesn't understand? Something that she doesn't understand is that all the points must be in the same direction. And we should see that all of the segments are parallel. And that's not true for this statement. I can see that they're the same length, but they're not in the same direction. And I can see that they're not in the same direction because they're not parallel. So now it says translate triangle ABC by the directed line segment from DTE. And we're just going to use our um, straight edge now to make this parallel. And we are going to do a bit of eyeballing because we're, we're not going to um, use our compass and straight edge to get this uh, super precise. Let's see if this is closer to uh, 3.5. Uh, it's uh, almost exactly 5 centimeters. So we're going to be moving this 5 centimeters in the same direction. And we'll try to make our 
lines parallel to each other. You can just use your straight edge to see if you're getting parallel. And then we can connect those to see our new figure, our image of ABC. And now we can see that that translation looks more parallel than the previous one. Let's do the check for understanding. Check your understanding here. It says match the directed line segment with the image of polygon P transformed to Q by the translation uh, by translation <laughs> by translation by the directed line segment. So what you can do is you can pick any of the vertexes to connect together to see what direction it's going from P to Q. We're starting at P and ending at Q. So I can see that this first translation, translation one, is moving from left to right. And if I draw that directed line segment in right there, it looks like it matches U. So this looks like it is the match for the directed line segment A. We're gonna do the same thing for these ones. So again, this one looks like it's going from left to right again, but it's a much smaller translation. So the one that looks the right length the, is V. So it looks like D. And then on this one, I can see that P is on the right and Q is on the left. So when I connect these together, I'm gonna to be going right to left, so my arrow is facing this direction, and the one that matches that looks like a, maybe an O, I think that's an O, we're going to call it O, but it looks like it matches with C. And then finally, this one's a right to left. And it looks like it matches this W, so that's going to be B. Thank you.